all right, I'm going to make a simple snap fit lid. Um, this is style has been around for probably as long as boxes have. So, and I'm sure there's a hundred ways of doing this and everyone does it differently. And I'm no expert at fusion, but this is the way I've been doing it and it works out real well for me. So I have a box. So what I'm going to do is make a new drawing and use the top lid of that or new sketch. I mean, do a two point rectangle from this corner all the way to this corner. You just need to have a, something you can use for a lid. Um, and I finish that. Now I'm going to extrude this up two millimeters. Make sure you grab the inside and the outside. I found two millimeters is fine for strength, especially since we're going to extrude it down another two in a second. All right, so let's make this a two millimeter extrude up and make sure that it has new body picked over here. So now we get a two millimeter extrusion up and you see it's a new body. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another drawing. And again, you may have a better way of doing this, but you know, I'm lazy and this works for me. Okay, I know my walls on the box are two millimeters thick. So I'm going to do an offset. Now this is going to be an insert. So I'm going to do minus two point. And the point, the decimal really depends on the accuracy of your printer. Um, if the walls are two millimeters, um, you want to make your inset a little more than two millimeters, but not too much because the snap fit won't work. So I'm going to go with 2.1 and I find that that works really well for me. All right, now, next thing I'm going to do is turn off the box. And I really should name these. Box and lid. OK, now what I want to do is extrude this down four millimeters. That's the thickness of the lid that's already there and the two millimeters that I want. Make that join and tell it OK. Uh, so there is a really basic, simple lid. Now let's turn the box back on. Isn't that pretty? Oh, not really, but OK. Now the next thing we need to do is make a little dimple on the box and a matching hole in the lid. So let's turn the lid off. And this is a square. Usually I find if it's a rectangular box, I like to put this, uh, two or three snaps on the long edge. But since it's a, this is a rectangle, I mean a square, it doesn't really matter. All right, so next thing is I'm going to make another drawing here. And let's see here. I found that um, a two millimeter dimple, if dimple's the right word, seems to be the best. So what I'll do is I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Oh, and I meant to make it a, OK, so um, let's say I'm going to do 10 millimeters in and one millimeter down. And I'm going to do the same from both sides. And what this does is gives me a point to create a circle. So now I'm going to make a circle and that's going to be two millimeters. And I'm going to repeat the same step until I have the number of dimples that I want. These are going to be the dimples. So make it, is dimple the right word or would it be pimple? I don't know. <laughs> so now I want to make the same thing on this side. But what I can do, let's finish that sketch, create a new sketch on this one. And you'll notice we can see previous stuff we just did. So this next step is a bit faster. 
Now, I know I'm on the outside wall, but that's fine. Like I said, I'm just lazy. And my wall is two millimeters thick, so I'm gonna go to extrude. And let's make this minus four. I'm sorry, minus three. We wanted to stick out one millimeter. Join, okay. Uh, it turned my sketch off, all right. And then extrude again. I could have done that in one step, but make sure it's join. Okay, so now you see that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Extrude. And this time I can do it in one step. One millimeter, it's on join, so there we go. All right, now the next step is I wanna curve these a bit. So I'm gonna go to fillet or fillet or whatever. I'll be fresh, it's a fillet. Let's see here, do that and do that. And if I go 0.5, you see there's a bit of a flat spot. I find that one works the best because I want it to be totally round. So what I wound up with now is this little bump on four spots. Like I say, for a long lid, you can make four of these. I mean, sorry, you know, six of these, or eight of these, however many you want. But I found this works really fine. Okay, now what we want to do is make matching holes in the lid. So let's turn our lid on. And what we're going to do is, I just like turning the box to uh, about a 50% opacity. All right, so let's... Uh, Turn off the box and then pick the lid and I'm going to pick a surface here and I'm going to go to create sphere. Then I'm turning the box back on and that's just so I can see where the sphere is going to go. So I click on that, it automatically fills in two millimeters. If it doesn't, just type in two. I hit enter and let's turn off the box again and you can see the lid has a nice little half sphere hole in it. So I'm going to do four more of these. So turn the box back on. Da -da 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 -da. And you can see we have nice little holes in the lids. Now what's cool about this is because of the angles, you don't need supports on the little parts that are sticking out or the holes in the lid. And what you wind up with is a really nice snap fit. So here's a sample of a couple of boxes that I put together like this. You can see the lids are flush, which is kind of the way I like it. You could put holes in here to make a handle, but I just kind of take my nails and pop the box off. And um, you can see right there is a little hole and a little matching dimple. And all you do is take and push it in place, and that's it. See, it doesn't come off, doesn't fall off. It's a really simple way of just snapping things together.